Calvary, time for our weekly Wednesday little devotional thought. One of the things that we're doing right now is we're going through the book of 1 John. And in doing so, Sunday I set up a quote from Ed Stetzer. It talked about the four different characteristics of an authentic community. The authentic community, ironically enough, starts with authenticity. So we have authenticity, vulnerability, accountability, and depth. Those are the four characteristics that will enable us to live out the love as Christ has asked us to live. When we look at the book of 1 John, a chapter that greatly parallels what we're talking about over the next few weeks is found in Romans chapter 12, where it talks about making your lives as a living sacrifice and giving your life over as an act of worship. This should be authentic for us. And so just for a few moments, I want to talk about how it looks like to authentically share our faith. And that uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 9 says, Let love be without hypocrisy. Detest evil and cling to what is good. Love one another deeply as brothers and sisters. Outdo one another in showing honor. And then it goes on to say, Rejoice in hope. Be patient in affliction. Be persistent in prayer. And I love this because it, it even goes and summarizes with rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. An authentic community is going to share the wide variety of feelings, emotions, but also carry out the actions into the world. So when we asked you to creatively share your faith this week, for many of us, the reason we don't is because it doesn't feel authentic. It doesn't feel real or natural to us. And, and I would say, yeah, the first time that you share your faith, it's probably hard. It's probably difficult. The first time I asked a girl out, it felt weird. It felt difficult. <laughs> the reality is when we first start working out, it may feel weird. It may feel difficult, but an authentic community trains ourselves to make that natural and a part of who we are. So let me explain it like this. You have all have heard me say I go to the gas station quite often. The other day I was at the gas station yet again, and uh, the lady who was working there behind the counter, I've gotten to know her. She knows I'm a pastor. I walked up to her, and she was spreading salt out into the um, gas station. And I said, do you want me to help you with that? Because she was clearly miserable and it was heavy. And, and she was like, I'd love to, but I could probably get, lose my job if I let you help me do this. And I was like, oh, no, no worries. But as I was walking away, she paused, stopped me and said, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being willing to do that and for actually caring enough to offer to help. I don't think we always have to carry around a Bible to live out authentic love. And the reality of where we should live is if people know who we are and we build those authentic relationships, then our lives will live out what it looks like to be authentic in worship. So this week, here's my challenge for you. Be creative in learning how to live out your faith. And like the person who is starting a new workout routine, you may not like it at first, but stay with it because you'll like the results of the new man or the new woman that you will become and you'll be showing more and more what it looks like to follow and live for Christ. Another way to, to live out your authentic faith, as we talked about, is to continue to serve through our local church. Yes, we are to live in our community, but guys, we need you to serve in our church. We always used to say that we need three hours from you a week. Three hours. One hour in the church for worship, one hour in the church um, serving, and one hour in an authentic community called a small group. This is how you're going to grow. This is how you're going to feel connected. So a good way for you to help is to serve. We know many people have stepped away for a little while because of the pandemic. But guys, we have a lot of people who are coming back, and it's time to plug back in. You can do that by going to yourcalvary.info slash serve. And if that's not correct, read the comments below, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we're thankful for all you guys. Know that we love you. Know that we're praying for you. Have a great week, and we'll see you Sunday. Don't forget to register.